I spend probably way too much time reading the Wikipedia statistics pages of tennis players. They have lots of tables of different shapes and sizes, which I found in general can be difficult for LLMs to understand if you just squash it down to a bunch of text. But I recently came across this library called Dockling that can convert amongst other file formats, PDFs, PowerPoint files and HTML pages to Markdown. And so it got me thinking, maybe I can give it a try on Wikipedia pages and then see if an LLM can make sense of a Markdown table instead. So the page that I'm gonna play around with in this video is Novak Djokovic's career statistics page. So we'll just have a quick look at that. You can see it's got lots of different tables of varying kind of complexities. And so we're gonna start by calling Docklink on the that career statistics page. You see it takes a little, little while, we've got a few warnings, but then what we end up with is this markdown file here. I'm gonna look, just show you one of the tables in here, so Grand Slam tournaments, and you can see it's kind of ni nicely pulled out all the finals that Djokovic participated in. Let's now call UV again, and we're gonna pass into some dependencies. So we're gonna have the mark a markdown parser, we're gonna have OpenAI, we're gonna have IPython, and then we're gonna be using Simon Willison's LLM library. So we'll launch IPython, and then we're gonna import from my utils module a pass markdown function. So this takes a markdown file and then extracts the hierarchy of titles uh, in the page. Uh, I'll include all the code in the link in the description below. Let's now call the markdown file and we'll have a look at the keys that it's extracted. So you can see the top one, Novak Djokovic career statistics, and then we kind of go down. So Novak career, Djokovic career statistics, performance timeline singles, and then the same performance timelines doubles and so on. And so we've kind of got these, the hierarchical structure of the headings that kind of guide us into different tables on the page. So we're gonna start by looking at that Grand Slam tournaments. So we'll call Novak for the markdown file and then we're gonna paste in the, 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 the tuple that gets us into that table. Then let's have a look at what it looks like. So it's the same as what we just looked at. So you see we've got a nice markdown table with all of his finals, the results, the surface, the opponent, the year and so on. We're now gonna import a print stream function to print out the stream of results coming from the LLM and then we're gonna initialize the GPT-4.0 LLM. So I thought we'll just start with the, the most common one. And then we're gonna initialize a conversation and then we're gonna create a prompt. The prompt is gonna have the finals for that table and then we're gonna tell it, I'm gonna pro provide you a markdown table and then I'll ask questions. Sound good? And you see, if we run the print stream function, it then comes back and says, yes. How can I assist? So let's start with our first question. So we'll start simple. What was the first title one? And you can see it pulls that out absolutely perfect. So good start. Let's try something a little bit harder. So how did he do on hard courts? And then I found that it was useful if you added in, think through it step by step. That seemed to, to help it out. And you can see it kind of runs through. It does pick up each of these, these wins and losses are correct. But then the summary at the end is wrong. So what it should say is he's won 14 and lost six, but it says 13 and seven. But I think we can probably forgive it here because LLMs are not necessarily good at adding things up, but it has done a good job at sort of understanding what's going on in that table. But that table is quite well structured. So maybe, maybe we can kind of expect that it would understand that. Let's try the singles overview table right up the top, which is just a little bit more complicated. It even takes like a human a while to understand what exactly is going on there. So again, we're gonna call Novak for, our, for, the, for the whole page, and then we'll paste in the tuple that gets us into that singles table. Let's have a look at it. And now this is, looks like a, a real mess. It's quite hard to make it uh, look good on the terminal because it's so wide, like it's got so many columns, but we'll scroll down a bit and you can kind of see it's got all the sort of uh, information in there. Let's now update our conversation prompt to point at the singles variable instead of the, the finals one. And it will tell us, hey, I'm ready for the questions. And we'll start with our first question. So what was his best year? So let's see if it can interpret that table and work out from each of the, remember each of the columns is one year, can it figure out what's going on? And you see it goes through and it sort of compares the, the years and it sort of seems to identify 2011 and 2015 are probably the best to it, then points out that it thinks that 2011 is probably the best. Now I would say 2015 was probably Djokovic's best season. He won his most matches, he had his best win percentage record and he won three titles in that year as well. But 2011 is fine as well, like both of those years were very, very good. And then the other good year would have been 2023, but that probably wasn't quite as good as the other two. So I, I say this is a pretty good effort. Let's try one more. So what years did he finish ranked in the top three? So now it really does need to look through all the columns and find the correct row. 
And it does a pretty good job. It's in fact, it does a perfect job here of identifying the years when he was in the top three. So it actually did way better than I expected, especially on that last table. But let me know what you think and check out my OpenAI playlist here for more videos.